Part three, ladies and gentlemen, if YouTube will have us, it's the report from Tiger Mountain. <laughs> We're gonna go to the final part. Here we go. Question on everybody's lips. We'll be back in a second. All right, here we are, mate, for uh, part three of our little chat. Uh, take yes. it away. What, you know, well, off we camera, you dropped the hate speech bomb. Yes, okay? yes, yes. I just want to How things get called hate speech? Well, come on. What, what, what is, what's your definition of hate speech? I've yet to hear a concise definition of hate speech. I would argue... You know that, that you've hate prison speech, sentences now. Well, well, in, in have practice, you heard about that? Yes, I have. In, in practice, Scotland? Yep, I've heard that. And in Canada, that you, get, you can go to jail for 30 yes. I was All I was going to say is that in practice... All I can see is that hate speech means that it's speech that somebody hates. Yep. Yeah, okay? Right. You know? Yeah. And that somebody tends yeah. to be somebody pretty powerful. Yeah. Okay? Because if they can throw you into jail yeah. for some dumb shit you said yeah. on social media or whatever, you know, or in your kitchen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You've got to be pretty powerful to do that to people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So that's a powerful personal institution's definition of what they don't like you saying. And it leads okay? to a kind of 1984 situation where things are new speak where you can't. You can't speak your mind and everybody is policing you. Everybody's willing to dob you in. Because they had this law in Scotland where they brought in, you know, hate speech laws. And then 10,000 people got online and were like, oh, the next door neighbour said, you know, he didn't like, uh, he didn't like curry from the Indian restaurant. He's racist. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, obviously, he, he, you know, I don't know where they're going to draw the line and how they can police it. They don't want to draw a line. No. Let, 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 let the plebs squabble amongst themselves. Let them rip each other apart. They couldn't divide and rule. It's just yet another example of it, you know. And this is the problem, I think. Really, the biggest enemy we face as a society, in my view, is political correctness. Yeah, I agree. Okay? Because, That's when it started. Yeah, with all that because shit. Poli political correctness... That started it, in the 90s. I remember it. I yeah. hated it. Me too. I hated, I, hated it. It. I hated it. I hated it too. I hated it. I hated it too. I hated it. That's when we yeah. came together, mate. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, I offended them with hellfire. You know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and you have every right to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's just a, it's it's an electric fence around yeah. topics. It's the way you fence off topics. Yep. Or you can't talk about that. Yep. yep. You can't talk about that. Yep. Or you can't talk about that. And you know the other thing that's I noticed speech, too. Oh, that's politically incorrect. I wanted to mention something. It you shuts know. down For all example, conversations. The word uh, "wog" or whatever is you know is like it was something that was used sometimes in a way you know you, you could you could say "wog" in the seventies you know as a kind of derogatory term right. But then someone like Nick Giannopoulos came along and he began to call himself "wog." And so, he was like, oh, the wog boy, and every wog, wog, wog. And then a lot of people who were Greek and uh, Italian used the word wog. And then they would even allow white people to call them wog. And then basically, when that happened, it kind of like the, that insult, it's, 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 the word it's wog is no longer. It did, it did. It and people, you, can, you can go up to somebody who's Greek, oh, you silly wog, or whatever, and yeah. no one cares. Uh -huh. You can call Nick as a wog, and I don't have to kick you out of bed with you. Sure. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> so they're just words. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So and in a way, if they're said, and if, and if you can make jokes with them, that destroys racism. And sure. that's what they don't want, though. They don't want that. that. They isn't. definitely don't want that. Yeah. They, want, they want the division. They want the red ants and the black yeah. ants squabbling about stupid shit, yeah. you know, so that they, the globalists can get on with their project. Because rest assured, they're really busy in the background. Yeah. Okay? They're yeah. cooking up all sorts of stuff. They're yeah. cooking yeah. up their CBDCs and mm -hmm. their digital IDs and mm -hmm. who knows what else, all sorts of other stuff. I think it's back okay? to the drawing board a bit after COVID. I think there were, there were it, it, somehow the COVID um, train derailed at some stage. It seemed. Very odd, wasn't it? Yep. it very but it odd. did seem to disrupt. Like they, they only, they only got to turn it off one afternoon. They yeah. just seemed to turn, no, it turn it off. Yeah. Let's just turn that off and we'll <laughs> turn on Ukraine. Ukraine. Let's just turn that off. You will turn up and turn off Ukraine. It literally was like that. And it was I actually think that there's a, I actually think, right, and you made me mock me and that's fine. I can handle it. Go ahead. Um, it feels like, it feels like there's an actual crisis centre somewhere yep. where they're feeding all this social media stuff, getting all the stats and, and graphs yep. and everything going, oh shit, yep. we got to turn off COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to turn COVID, turn COVID off, People okay? What else we got? Yep. What, hey, what, we, yep. what, oh, we got Ukraine. Ukraine, hey, yeah. Ukraine on. on. Monkeypox on. Oh shit, no, 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 no. monkeypox <laughs> off, off, off. Ukraine on, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. If it feels like live in a crisis centre, this yeah, thing. Like a war room, like yeah, a family yeah, There's this stupid shit going on all the time. They float all sorts of yeah, dumb and stuff. And then obviously they turn the volume up on something that seems to be rating well or yeah. playing well with the public. And something like monkey pox that seems to like be a blip on the day. Oh, I forget it. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, what yeah, I thought was yeah. extraordinary. Some of these if you remember things. the way that, you know, during COVID it was like all the cases you heard constantly. Yeah. You know, and, and how that instantly vanished. That was something that I think many left wing people who went along and got the vaccine 
were, have thought, found odd, and I've spoken to them. <laughs> you know, and you know, they not found odd. something odd. No, but they were like, it's <laughs> odd the way it just ended yeah. like that. And yeah. then you universally, go to a universally too. You saw it in all the media. I saw yeah. this. And the they all they dropped the banners yeah, all and on the, the same day. Too. And, and the and the death count and the yeah. case count at the top. Like it's all gone on the same all day. All the anti vaxxers <laughs> weren't masked, and then I, I think the people who took part saw the anti vaxxers not wearing masks. It's like, you know what, I think I'm going to wear mine. And then everybody but the very diehard, occasionally you'll see one. It's like one in a hundred now uh-huh. might wear a mask to a public event. Sure. You'll see them occasionally. I buy those people. Yeah, they're, I know you they're, got, they're, got like, they're really in it. You know. they got pluck. But think about it, because they, they believe it. Yeah. Because everyone else must know it was bullshit. Uh-huh. Because if it was so necessary to wear a mask, we would still have to. Because it didn't go anywhere. It's still around every now and then. No, 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 oh, Richard. The oh. narrative has changed. Oh, what happened? Sorry. Man? In the crisis centre, yes. they've gone, okay, drop that one, drop this one, up. roll camera on yep. this one. You know, so you're here's great. one of my favourites, right? And you can have many. It was cultural appropriation. Yep. You know, that was one they floated oh, for I a while. Oh, I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Completely stupid. Yep, I yep. mean, really, what, you got to follow that to its logical yeah, conclusion. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. You know, like, Does that mean everybody... here's one of my favourite examples, right? Hip hop music. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind some hip hop music. Yeah. It's fine, whatever. You know. Well, it's it's all built around technology developed by Japanese people. Yeah, exactly. Okay, That's so, cultural like, appropriation. The Akai MPC. The MPC. Yeah. It's where all the drums come from. Yeah, yeah. Most hip hop records. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a Japanese technology it's development. Yeah. Developed they, in Tokyo. Are they culturally appropriating Japan? Oh, well, well, so if you follow yeah, no, that crazy. crazy bullshit to its logical conclusion, you can only have Japanese hip hop, no. can you? And there's you another know? great video of a guy who dressed up like a kind of almost like a you know like a, 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 a parody of a Mexican with the hat and the, and the mustache and a poncho, and he went to people on campus and said, are you offended by my costume? Is this Justin Trudeau? Uh, some, and it wasn't Justin Trudeau. <laughs> but anyway, he said to people on, first on campus, right. are you offended? And they were all offended. And then he yeah. went down to like little, little Mexico, like an area that was run, yeah. and he said to them, are you offended by what I'm wearing? And they go, oh, it's great, it's great, it's really cute, you know? <laughs> and they weren't offended, they thought it was funny, they were singing songs with yeah. him. Uh-huh. You know, they thought maybe it's a little over the top or funny, <laughs> but like, you know, they, of course. And that's exactly the case, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, look. But, you know, if you look at the, the bigger picture, I think they've yeah. floated all these insanities in the, the crisis room, you know, and just gone, okay, what can we turn up yeah. to send What's your crazy? prediction for a 2024 election? Obviously, you've got the big showdown. You know, it seems to be a, a rerun of the Trump versus Biden. And it does seem like the media's turned a little bit in Trump's favour. People are predicting it's very a weird, isn't it? You know, see, this is where it this gets This leads very... back to what we started yes. with. Yes. It gets very occult, doesn't it? Because yep. they hated him last yeah, week. Yep. He was the devil incarnate. Yep, yep. And then this week, maybe not in. so much, you and know? obviously his strong stance on Israel. And personally, I think how it works is that the globalists represent the kind of the side that is involved in the left. And then you've got the Zionists who represent the side that's involved in the right. And then, in a sense, they are separate, but they're together. It's dialectical. You know, in the sense that, like, one has the upper hand for a while, then the other one has an upper hand. You know what I mean? And there's a kind of dialogue between the two sides. And I think that, and maybe sometimes one goes a little too far in one direction. Maybe the globalists go too far, but then the Zionists get a go. You know what I mean? So here's my theory. I think this this whole democracy thing, yep. all right, it's like a Punch and Judy show. There you okay? go. And the globalists have got dialectical. their hands... They've got their hands yep. up both Anima. puppets. Yep. Okay, they've got their hands up Punch yep. and, Judy. and Judy. Okay, so this year yep. in in 2020, yep. it's Judy. It's Lincoln, Lincoln, it's, and, and Judy's and got the Kushner. Judy's got the baseball bat. And in 2024, it's Punch has got the baseball bat. Oh well, yay! Boo boo! So what are your yay. predictions? What are your predictions? Trump going to win? Well, the the smoke. I think he will. I think the, he will. The smoke signals from the media yep. indicate the possibility that maybe they will. Allow the illusion yep. of Trump winning. Yep, there you go. The the all these elections are completely rigged. Yep. Okay, but yep. the last one was in the US was definitely I, rigged. It was so obviously rigged. It was. I mean, yeah. come on. Knows, maybe they've done a deal with him since that he'll behave himself better. Or who knows? Who knows what will happen? Or I or, still think there's something legitimate about Trump. Or he'll divide society even more. And maybe that's what they they'll, want. They'll get their war in the Middle East that they want with Iran. Yep, you yep. know. There you go. So I think, this is how I think it works. I think the globalists go, okay, who, who can we get the most out of at the moment? Oh, it looks like we can get the most out of Judy this yep. week. So we'll give Judy a go. Yep. Oh, okay, so Punch, punch yep. seems to 
maybe give yeah. us more this it's week. It's like the Gobelins and the Zionists. There you go. Yeah. You know, there it is. It's, it's, it's all it's all yep. occult theatre. Well, I would call it you call it dialectic. But fine. there are people who are, are legitimate. You know, there are people who you know, are like I guess ourselves. I mean, you know, we've yet to be yeah, on but the they won't right, get mate. any yep. media airtime, yep. and they won't get any social media viral you know, like going post the algorithm. Blah, Isn't blah, that funny? Blah, the, the report from Tiger Mountain's never had a million views. You know what I mean? And I've never had all this money come in from YouTube. But there it is, mate. You're surprised? I'm not that surprised. <laughs> Always a pleasure talking to you, Thruster. It's April pleasure. 2024. We've had a good chat up here, at least half an hour long. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll continue doing this. And we'll come back and do a no-go show uh, soon enough when Michael can uh, pull his finger out of his ass. <laughs>